Okay, so how do you make a cabinet like this? the uh, crazy little cabinet for this side um, again it's such a bizarre opening and uh, I'm a real visual worker slash learner so rather than trying to do all the math and figure it all out with on paper first uh, I'm just like I did on this side I'm just basically gonna work my way piece by piece through it um, so let me show you how I'm gonna do that all right so basically we've got I've got an 18 inch wide by what is it 15 14 yeah 15 tall um, so it's three inches shorter than the other side um, but then see there's that whole deal there and it kind of comes in you know this way up on this side so I've got a good bit of space here and a little bit up front um, so I'm gonna basically do a similar version of what I did on the other side but what I have is I know that I've got you know a piece this way and a piece this way to start with so that's what I'm gonna do first and then I'm going to start building and basically just kind of build it back to that corner. And I'm a big uh, fan of my uh, Makita track saw. I've got my uh, table saw right out there, but um, for a lot of these cuts, I just uh, to avoid the heat and stay right inside here and use my track saw. Um, here's a good example. I just got this nice little piece I need to make a eight inch ripper uh, on this. So got the mark there, mark there, and uh, ready for the track saw. that easy all right so I've got my my one full side my little front bottom and then the the rise coming up so again this is gonna fit flush like this and so now I can add a another piece up on top of here it'll go out that way across all right top so of this. Yeah, we got our got this piece in but now as you can see my back corner is already hitting on the uh, foam over here and I'm still this far out so I'm gonna basically have to notch a little bit off this corner I'm gonna kind of work my way back until it gets all the way in there and then continue my other pieces going up so you know rather than trying to build a big box and then chopping it up I'm gonna kind of custom cut each piece to sort of make it fit its own now I know what's gonna fit so got this all trimmed off I've got enough room I should be good I might have a little issue up here in this corner here we'll see once I come up but I think I might just should be able to fit in there okay but now I can go ahead and put my side piece and back some top pieces on and uh, I'll have a finished box and again pardon the noise up above okay well it took, took about an hour all the oddball parts and pieces there but uh, basically maximizing all of our storage again gonna have a trim pieces that'll attach to this that'll it'll hold it in place and uh, figure out the door situation but we'll have a whole bunch of additional storage up here by the driver's area on both sides yeah again we had this uh, electrical box that was here and uh, basically removed all that installed it all over here on this side wall as you can check that out in the previous video but uh, that gave us room uh, up over in this whole front corner after the insulation to utilize that space a little bit. And uh, same deal over here. The only thing it's a little different uh, because the steel support beam runs across here on this side and it's up here on this side. So it's kind of, you know, decided where we're going to go. But key factor in all of this as well is that uh, it's removable. Um, there's this, the other steel framing is right on this side as well as right over here so I just put a couple shims in there but uh, there's basically just four of the self tapping screws here in the corners and when I attach the final trim detail that'll go around I will I'll pin nail it to the you know just to this part of the cabinet itself so it'll be attached here but it won't be attached here and that way if for any reason we got to get to the wiring or get back inside here Basically, you just got to pull these four screws 
and uh, be able to pull the entire unit right out of there and access uh, anything you need to access back behind there. So same thing on this side as well. As you can see, quite a different shape, similar design, but you just kind of got to customize it based on what you got and what you're able to utilize. So well, fun again, little project. I found that useful. And uh, again, how to utilize some of these really weird spaces inside your bus is uh, really important. You know, you, how much, you, you know, you're basically bringing your entire life with you on the road and uh, you want to utilize every square inch of space. So uh, again, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so you can see the entire build and uh, all of the good stuff we're doing with this big shuttle bus build. Thanks guys.